What is an angle bisector? This is an important concept to be familiar with when studying geometry, so we'll go over it in today's Wrath of Math lesson. Suppose we've got an angle here in yellow, and remember that angles are created by two rays that share a common vertex. The rays are called the sides of the angle, and the point they have in common is of course called the vertex. Let's call this vertex V, and we'll take a point on each ray that isn't the vertex. Let's call this point U, and this point on the other ray W. And let's just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Remember, of course, that we often measure angles in degrees. So, for example, this angle might have a measure of, I don't know, maybe 45 degrees. And for reference, remember that the distance around a circle in degrees is 360. So if we've got an angle like this, which we could call angle UVW, where remember we always put the vertex of the angle in the middle, then an angle bisector of the angle UVW is just a line, ray, or line segment that cuts the angle into two congruent angles. So for this example, let's say we have this ray. We'll put another vertex on this ray, we'll call it X. And let me actually just redraw real quick so it looks more like an angle bisector. There we go, I think that looks about right. So if the ray VX is an angle bisector of the angle UVW, that just means that the ray VX cuts the angle UVW into two smaller angles that are congruent. So we could draw some white hash marks to denote that these two smaller angles are congruent. So the ray VX sort of cuts UVW in half. So if the ray VX is an angle bisector of UVW, then we could write that the angle UVX, that's this one here, is congruent, written like that, is congruent to the angle XVW, this angle here. We could also say that these two angles have the same measure, which we can write like this, M, angle UVX, that means the measure of angle UVX, is equal to M, angle XVW, the measure of XVW. So if, for example, we have this angle UVW and VX is an angle bisector of UVW, and suppose we know that angle UVX has a measure of, let's say, 2X plus 3. We could be picky and say that's 2X plus 3 degrees, but let's just leave the unit of degrees off so it looks a little cleaner. So suppose this angle UVX has a measure of 2X plus 3, and suppose that the angle x, v, w has a measure of, let's just say, 3x. Then how would we go about solving for x? It's very simple. Since v, x bisects the angle u, v, w, it must be the case that these two angles have the same measure, like we wrote over here. That's what it means for the ray v, x to be an angle bisector. Thus, we can solve for x by setting 2x plus 3 equal to 3x. These two angles have the same measure. So 2x plus 3 is equal to 3x. Go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides, and we'll be left with 3 on the left side of the equation is equal to 3x minus 2x, which is just a single x. And so that's our answer. 3 is equal to x, or you might prefer to write x is equal to 3. And of course, this only works if we know that the ray VX bisects this angle. Otherwise, we have no way of knowing that the measure of this angle, 2X plus 3, is equal to the measure of this angle, 3X. And so that's what an angle bisector is. An angle bisector is a line, line segment, or ray that cuts an angle in half. It cuts the angle into two congruent smaller angles. So if these two smaller angles were not congruent, suppose UVX had a measure of 10 degrees and XVW had a measure of 13 degrees, then by definition VX would not be an angle bisector of UVW. So I hope this video helped you understand what angle bisectors are and how we can use them to solve some fun little algebra problems. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.